video, we're going to look at the different ways we can change column widths and row heights. At the moment, the data in my sheet is presented relatively clearly. But I may want to, for printing purposes or other reasons, to condense my data. To condense the data, I'm going to need to make things smaller. So I might need to change the column width. As we can see in this column here, column C and the region, I have quite a bit of empty space next to my data. To adjust the column width, I simply move between columns until I see this particular symbol, something like a cross with sideways arrows on it, indicating that I am grabbing the line between the columns and then I can move it from side to side. So pressing the cursor down and moving sideways, I can see there's a tool tip that's telling me what the width is both in centimeters and in pixels. This may vary between regions. When I've moved the column width to however wide I want it, I can simply let go of the mouse button and the column will be resized. The same is true of changing row heights. I can select my row, move my cursor to between two rows, put my mouse button down and drag the row to the height that I want. As you can see, I also have a height indicator tooltip which is telling me how high this cell is in pixels. Now, there's another way I can control the column width and that is by right-clicking on my column and moving to column width. Column width will give me this little message box or information box which allows me to precisely type in the exact column width I want to use. Let's say I want to make it a perfect 10. And it has very slightly changed the width of my column. Let's say I want to exactly double the width of my column. I can come in here and change this value to 20. OK, so far we've looked at different ways we can manually adjust column width. Let's have a look at a nice, easy, quick way of adjusting column widths. Let's say I want to fix the column width so it is just big enough to display the information, but not so big that there's lots of empty space as we have here. We have our information on the far left and all this empty space. To quickly remove that, I find that I highlight the column I'm interested in, move to between the column lines, between C and D, or whatever two columns you want to work on. I wait for that cross with the arrow buttons moving left and right. And instead of dragging, I simply double click on this line. As you can see, the column has been automatically and very quickly readjusted. And if I move down the column, I can see that it just fits the data perfectly. Let's try it on another example on this item sold cell. If I double click, the data will be adjusted to the longest bit of information in the data column. Here it is hole punch. So this column width, when I double click it, will never move further left than hole punch. It will stop there in order to be able to completely display the information. This command is also available on rows. So I can select a row, perhaps manually distort that row and make it very high or very tall. If I want to take it back to the standard or minimum height it can be, I double click between the lines and the height is automatically readjusted. It is also handy to know that I don't have to do this operation one column at a time. In fact, I frequently see people in offices manually double clicking each column one at a time, like so. This is not in fact necessary. You can select all of the columns that you want to resize to their perfect position individually, and then re-click anywhere between any of those columns to automatically resize all columns at the same time. The same is true with rows. I could distort a few of my rows just for the sake of example. And then if I want to completely resize all of the rows at the same time, I highlight the entire range and double click between any two rows to resize those rows. Now the other situation we might encounter is that 
Although this looks very neat and compact, some people just like to have a very uniform and consistent appearance to their tables. That might mean that they want every row to be exactly the same height and every column to be exactly the same width. Again, we can blanket select all our columns and just drag one column in particular. As we see here, the width is 9.29 or 70 pixels. I'm just going to move it around slightly to 80 pixels. And we can see that all of the columns that I've selected have now been resized to 80 pixels. And again, the other command we used as well, the right click, column width, can be used here as well. Thus allowing us to very precisely change the column widths for an entire worksheet at a time, if that's what we want to achieve. And that covers our video for resizing rows and columns.